Hi folks, it's Mr. Nedicus, and I'm going to answer a very important question about the help. What happened to Constantine? So you know that Constantine was the help who raised Skeeter, and she's been working for the Thelan family for quite some time. Now they had a very special relationship, Skeeter and Constantine, and we know this because they keep writing each other when Constantine um, is still working at the family and Skeeter is off to college. Now vital to the altercation is the fact that Constantine had a daughter, and that is very important. Um, this daughter was light-skinned. Also important to know is that Lullabelle, her daughter, came out of wedlock, which means that they weren't married to each other, uh, Connor and Constantine, when she was born. Now the fact that she was white-skinned didn't really help, and it wouldn't have worked in Mississippi, as we'll find out from this quote. But it wasn't just hard on the girl. It was hard on Constantine. She, folks would look at her. White people would stop her, ask her all suspicious what she's doing, toting around the white child. Policemen used to stop her on the state streets, told her she needs to get her uniform on. Even colored folk. They treat her different, distrustful, like she's doing something wrong. It was hard for her to find somebody to watch Lullaby while she was at work. Constantine got to where she didn't want to bring Lola out much. As such, she was treated very poorly by both communities, and Constantine had to give her up for adoption at an orphanage in Chicago when she was four years old, which is rather old for to give up a child for adoption. After many years, Constantine and Lullabelle got back in connection, and she even visited her mother in Mississippi. And as you can imagine, Lullabelle was unfamiliar with the very old-fashioned way things worked in Mississippi, and everything was still very segregated. So during one of Skeeter's mother's social functions, Lullabelle showed up and she ate the food that was meant for the white people. When Skeeter's mother confronts Lullabelle, she mocked her and spits in her face right in front of everybody. In the fight that follows, Skeeter's mother tells Constantine that Lullabelle can never show her face again in Mississippi and that she needs to leave the house and even the state. Still, Lullabelle claims that she cannot do this because Constantine had to work for them and because Constantine gave her up for adoption after her father died. Another important fact in this is that Skeeter's father is paying Constantine's rent, so her mother also claims that she cannot stay in that house. Skeeter's mother, who is of course familiar with the truth about Connor um, not dying but going away, threw the truth into Lullabelle's face and revealed that her father ran off the day she was born and that Constantine had to give her up for adoption because she was so light-skinned. So Constantine decided to move back to Chicago with her child. However, after three weeks she died. We know this because Skeeter's mother wanted to send her a check for Christmas, but his check was returned with a copy of the obituary. And that is what happened to Constantine.